Here are the pacers for the second race. Number one is What a Life Mike McAuliffe is in the bike. Number two is Scratched. Number three is Reformer with Dan Bowermaster to drive that one. Number four is Working in Coal Mine. The driver is Ron Waples. Number five, Valletta with Jack Gray Jr. in the bike. And tickled to death is number six, and the driver is Dave Rankin. Four-year-olds and under, non-winners of one. Other conditions may also apply. First half of the daily double, exact to wagering. You've got only four minutes to post. The track is sloppy, and uh, be aware that the field has paraded, and right now you've got only four minutes. Here they come for today's second race. They're off in pacing, working in coal mine is first away. What a life is there and tickled to death. Flashing speed from the center of the racetrack. Then comes Reformer who will quickly drop in racing in the fourth spot and Valletta comes out racing fifth and last. Three in, two out through the first opening eighth of a mile. Now working in coal mine finally dives over against the rail with a two length lead after that first eighth. Then comes the battle for second. What a life and tickled to death are side by side battling that spot, followed by Reformer. And Valletta quickly went off stride for about four or five steps. She's last and now about seven lengths from the leader. Here comes tickled to death, meanwhile, off a 29 second opening quarter. Tickled to death moves up for driver Dave Rankin in those green, white, and gold colors to take the lead just before the half. That means working in coal mine now has cover. He's traveling in the second spot. What a life is yet to move from third. Reformer is fourth. Everyone's single file at the half, and Valletta has caught those first four but is still last. Off the half in 59 seconds, tickled to death, has the lead by almost two now. Working in coal mine is still second. Nobody moving yet. They're on the final turn. What a life is third, Reformer is fourth, Valletta is last. They're moving toward the three quarter. Everyone chasing, tickled to death. Reformer is the first horse on the move coming out of the four hole. Now he's up to third. Now he's trying to grab second, but he's still got to get tickled to death. Who's got the lead past the three quarter. Reformer is one length away now in second on the outside. Then working in coal mine. Then what a life is on the outside in fourth and Valletta far back in fifth. 129 and four, Reformer has caught Tickled to death, and Reformer now gets the lead by a neck, by a half length. Tickled to death is still there, but now second, and What a Life is up to third. Reformer has the lead, Tickled to death, not able to do anything with him, and Reformer is going to win it. Reformer gets the win by three quarters of a length, Tickled to death was second, and What a Life, third. In today's second race, number three, Reformer finished first. Number six, Tickled to Death was second. Number one, What a Life was third. Three, six, one, unofficially. The time, 159 and three. Result of the second race is official. Reformer number three is the official winner. 361 official. Return prices will be coming up on the board in a moment. Turning track side, the winner, number three, Reformer, owned in Illinois by Bobby Mars, trained and driven by Dan Bowermaster. This New York sired performer, bred by Castleton Farm, is sired by Storm Damage out of the Niatros Dam Manart Do-Gooder. 
and picks up the mark in 159 and 3. He has a faster record, though, taken earlier this year by storm damage from Aniatros Mother. And those two sires, of course, raced in the same crop together in what is arguably one of the greatest, if not the greatest, crop of three year old pacers in recent memory. Prices, again, will be posted shortly on the tote board. And Dan Bowermaster moves on with the winner, Reformer, who is from a mare who has four faster than 158. The dam is a full sister to Similu Demur, who won nearly $900,000. we need to remind you about is the fact that Keystone Canyon, the seven, does wear the trotting hobbles on a regular basis, wears them today as he did the last start as well 